Hi, welcome to our first free webinar, which is on dental disease and the impact it can have on your pets. I've called this one, Life is Short, Smile While You Still Have Teeth, which is pretty relevant as a vet because a lot of the time, unfortunately, by the time we see pets for dental treatment, the disease in their mouth is so advanced that we have to extract multiple teeth. And so I'm talking to you today about this so that we can start to change this and get animals in early for prophylactic care and be proactive about dental disease rather than reactive. So what is dental disease? When did you last look in your pet's mouth? Did you notice that the gums were a little bit red or that there was some discoloration on the teeth or even some hard tartar, which is basically concrete pus? If you're noticing anything unusual in your pet's mouth other than nice pearly white teeth, then it's time for a dental check because that is dental disease. What does it do? it actually can cause daily pain and suffering. And the statistics show that more than 90% of dogs and more than 70% of cats over the age of three have got significant dental disease needing treatment. That's a huge number of pets that are suffering on a daily basis. The tartar on the crowns of the teeth can be below the gum lines too, destroying the attachment tissues around the roots of the teeth. And so if there's anything going on in your pet's mouth, it's time to take action now. Let's make your pet smile while they still have teeth. This is one of our dental patients. She's one of the poster children for dental treatment. Her name is Ella and she's a young Burmese cat who came in to see us for a dental check and was admitted for a dental treatment the next day. All the owner had noticed at home was that her breath was getting a little bit smelly and she was slightly off her food and sleeping in a little bit in the mornings. We had to extract a number of teeth from her mouth that day, nine teeth she had extracted. She went home much happier and within 24 hours was back to devouring all of her food and jumping out of bed first thing in the morning. So that's the sort of turnaround that we can expect when we address dental pain and disease in the mouth. What is the progression of dental disease? Dental disease is graded from a zero to a four. So if there's a zero, there's nothing going on in the pet's mouth. You've got nice pearly white teeth and the gums look healthy. If it's grade one, you're starting to see some red line along the gum, so some gingival reaction, and there's a little bit of discoloration on the surface of the teeth. Grade two is when the tartar on the teeth is starting to harden and it's become more like concrete and it's going to be hard to remove at that stage without specialist equipment. By the time you get to grades three and grade four, you've got irreversible disease in the mouth. The tartar on the teeth is starting to cause destruction of the attachment tissues around the roots, and it's highly likely your pet's going to need to have teeth extracted. So we wanna treat your pet's teeth early on in, the, in this stage, it's when they're looking at grade zero, one, two, that's when we can do something to to, to prevent the progression to grades three and four and extraction of teeth. Some people think that kibble is one of the answers in keeping their pet's teeth clean, but unfortunately that is a fallacy. You can see from this picture that within a couple of weeks of eating a kibble diet, the dog's teeth actually progressed and became more uh, diseased with tartar on the teeth. Unless you're feeding a a dental diet, so a food that is specifically designed to clean your animal's teeth, it's highly likely that the kibble's not going to be doing anything and actually could be detrimental both for their teeth and their health long term. So how do we treat dental disease? The main thing is to detect it and treat it early on when it's more likely to be reversible. When you've got severely compromised teeth, they can't be salvaged in most situations. And the extraction process is a very complex and time consuming procedure. You can see from this picture here of a dog's skull, the size of the roots of the teeth. They're bigger than the crowns. They're long and really firmly attached into that jawbone. And we need to get in there and actually split the teeth into sections when there's more than one root. Very gently elevate that root away from the jaw and extract it. 
So it's a really complex procedure and because of the complexity it's also quite costly. So it's better for your pet's health and it's better for your wallet if we treat the disease earlier on in the process. This is one of our dental patients here. So you can see that the teeth don't look that bad but this is actually a dental grade 3 and the criteria that we look at are things like where does the gum lie so there's actually some gum recession around the big carnassial tooth at the back of this dog's mouth and where there's gum recession there's also very likely pain because often the nerves can be exposed and your dog could be experiencing pain on a daily basis on the other side of this dog's mouth if you look right up the back you might be able to see a grayish discharge that's actually pus and it's draining from around the roots of this dog's teeth. And this was despite really vigilant home care and quite regular dental cleans as well. Unfortunately, we did have to extract a number of this dog's teeth this day. You can see from the x-ray here that there was so much destruction around the back root of the carnassial teeth and also a big shadow at the top of the molar tooth on the left as well. And so that's infection rotting away the jawbone of the dog. And there was nothing that we could do to save those teeth. This is post-operatively. So she's got some teeth have had to be extracted and the remaining teeth have been cleaned. This is how the teeth are supposed to look. So she did go home with some sutures in her mouth, but within 24 hours she, reported, she was reported to be a much happier dog. And about a month later, a long-standing skin infection resolved. So we can see that the dental disease actually has a greater impact than we realize. When you've got a clean mouth, you've also got a clean body. This is another patient of ours. This was a little rescue dog who came into us for a dental check and was admitted for an urgent dental the next day. So this is obviously grade four disease. There's really heavy tartar on the teeth. This dog only had 24 teeth left in her mouth out of a out of 42 teeth in the dog and we had to extract another 16 on this day and so she was left with only eight healthy teeth after the dental procedure. This is the kind of destruction that we can see on an x-ray in a dog like this. So the tartar around the teeth crowns actually goes down around the roots of the teeth as well and starts to destroy the jawbone and your dog can potentially be at risk of really severe conditions like a jaw fracture as a result. Sometimes this is all we can see in a dental check. So this is actually Ella, the cat that was admitted for a dental and had to have a few teeth extracted. I talked about her at the beginning. So the nurse, luckily, even though we couldn't see too much up the back of her mouth, did book the dental procedure in because the owner had reported that she'd noticed some smell in the mouth and that she was off her food. And there was enough going on in the mouth that we knew that she needed some dental intervention. When we had her under anesthetic and looked in the mouth up the back, we were surprised to find this. So exposed roots, severe gum recession, infection around the roots of the teeth. This cat would have been in immense pain on a daily basis. And I'm not surprised that she was a little bit reluctant to get out of bed in the mornings and also not eating her food with such vigor. This is the X-ray of that back tooth. So you can see the destruction around the roots of the teeth. Unfortunately, not all vets have got dental radiography equipment and so sometimes does dental disease can be missed as a result of that because we can't see what's going on below the gum line without an x-ray. So what do you need to do? First of all, book in for a dental check. At the Natural Vets, we offer free dental checks all year round with our trained dental nurses. And if we find that there's anything more than a dental grade zero, then please book your animal in for a prophylactic treatment. If you've got any concerns about your pet going under anesthetic, then rest assured that we do use the absolute safest anesthetic protocols. And we do a number of things to ensure anesthetic safety as well. We recommend taking blood from your animal before an anesthetic so we can check that they're a safe anesthetic candidate. We use an IV drip line throughout the surgery so that we can support the blood pressure and also support the detox and recovery post-operatively. We recommend intravenous vitamin C for all of our surgical patients, which is a unique thing that we do at the Natural Vets because it really does help to detox the anaesthetic drugs and speeds the recovery process remarkably as well. 
And another thing we do is Bioptron lamp therapy. And so that is a lamp that has its medically approved device. It's been shown to improve gingivitis, relieve infection and pain in the mouth. And so it's something that we recommend putting over all of our dental patients, especially if they've had teeth extracted. And then finally, after the dental treatment, it's important to implement an effective, consistent home care program that's often easier than it sounds. Within 48 hours of a dental treatment, you will start to have tartar building up on the teeth again. And so it's important that between dental cleans, your pet is also getting some hygiene treatment at home. Let's be proactive about dental disease, not reactive. Don't wait until there's significant disease in your pet's mouth before doing something. Start a proactive prevention program today. So that means regular dental checks, regular prophylactic cleans, which may need to be done more than once a year for some animals, and an easy home care program that you can implement at home. All of our dental patients go home with easy home care instructions, even for time poor people. There's always something that you can be doing. So check your pet's teeth. If you notice anything in there or if you can't get a good look, bring them in for us to check. Some animals aren't so cooperative at home. And finally, remember to smile. Smile while you still have teeth.